But that being said, there's two terms that get thrown out a lot. One is greatness and the other is success. So my question to each of you, and Vince, I'll come to you first, is give me your thoughts. What is your definition of the differences between greatness and success? You know, I don't, I don't actually know if there is a difference, really. Um, I think for me, when I hear the word success or the concept of growing success, it's commonly used in my own, my own journey, my own goals. So my success, my my journey, and and how I view success. And then when I hear the word greatness, it's usually used in the context of, let's just say, someone I'm talking about someone. Um, it could be an individual who has done something, to, you know, for society, for our culture, <clears throat> to which we define as greatness. So that person could have accomplished something, a great feat and whatnot through different uh, stories and journeys of perseverance to achieve whatever uh, we define as great. You know, the, the hero's journey piece of it too. Um, but then of course I think about it as, you know, uh, I don't know necessarily if I ever thought about, you know, my own journey as being, I want to be great. Um, Actually, when I hear it, I make myself say that, actually, it's like, yeah, okay, I can see that. <clears throat> but just I don't really use that vernacular in a common, you know, uh, goal setting or whatnot. That's a great way to look at it, right? As to whether or not it's, you know, and I, th I think you mentioned a little bit earlier about is this an inside versus outside perspective, right? So the world, other people around you may see you as great. But the thought of success is, I think, more internal. Is, is that kind of more how you see it, or is it? Yeah. Than that? Well, may, maybe success comes and goes because success is at a point in time where we are successful. But then part of the journey is there will always be points of it where success is not always commonly the entirety of the story. And and again, that's the point in time where, in my book, my definition. <clears throat> how I have found the most insights uh, for my own journey is to look at those individuals who have not only achieved success or how we define success or how they define success, but also, you know, gone through the, the whole bottoming out. You know, it's, it's the trials and tribulations of, you know, um, you know, hitting rock bottom, we like to call it, you know, the, the, the lowest point, both mentally, spiritually, maybe even physically, and, and it's that, that upward, you know, that, that change, that mindset shift, that's what fascinates me the most. Because in my book, that's what I need to see and hear. That's what, uh, and also part of this is the whole idea of pay it forward. You know, it's uh, being vulnerable and sharing my own challenges and strife uh, with others, but also giving honor to those mentors who've shared theirs with me um, have been how I kind of refill my cup and keep me going to achieve my own personal success. Erica, what about you? What are your thoughts on that? When uh, I think about greatness versus success, really, if you think about it, I think if you have a mission and you have a plan, you develop a plan and you take those steps to that plan um, being accomplished, then you are daily being successful. You're successfully implementing the plan. So if you have a mission and you're carrying it out, it's not, um, I don't think it's the end result that pe then people say, oh, you're successful. It's the it's every day that you're taking the steps needed to accomplish your mission, you're successful. Um, mm -hmm. If we start getting everybody else's definition of whether we're successful or not, well, that's an easy way to cause more anxiety and ultimately a depression because you're always letting other people define whether you're successful or not. But if you define success as every day, I'm taking a step forward. And yes, there'll be some days where you feel like you're taking a couple of steps backwards or you've just totally fallen down. But if you get up and you keep moving towards that mission being accomplished, you are successful. We can't let other people define whether we're a success. And as far as greatness, 
I think all my life, uh, I always had boxing in the background of our living room. And remembering just how Muhammad Ali always saying, even in his lowest points, I'm the greatest. I'm beautiful. I'm the greatest. And so greatness too, you can't let other people define whether you are or are not great. You really have to believe in yourself. And even if you're having some periods of self-doubt to say, I am the greatest, whatever your craft is, I am the greatest and really do the work to be great. And like Muhammad Ali, you know, had some setbacks, but he kept saying, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. And then eventually he said it so much. <laughs> and were there other were there other better boxers? Probably so, right? I don't care what anybody says. Probably so. But he kept saying, I am great. I am great. I am great. And he kept saying it so much till now the world says it. So you have to measure and you have to measure and call yourself out, not just for the negative things that you might hear in your head. But you have to call yourself out that you're great yourself. Absolutely right. 100%. 100%. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is.